Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Schneider's Golf. It's a beautiful day here in Utah. And today we're going to be talking about moving the Mazak. I got the Mazak in here with the forklift. It was kind of a cluster the day that we got the Mazak here. And it's super heavy. I had some machine skates rented the day that we brought the Mazak in here. But unfortunately I couldn't get it to move and I had to get the forklift back and all this crazy stuff. So today we're going to be making some toe jacks to lift the Mazak up, set it onto some machine skates that we're also going to make in-house. And we're gonna try and move the Mazak to right here. I wanna put it right here where the bandsaw and the sandblaster are. And then I wanna move the bandsaw and the welder and all that stuff over into this corner. So to be able to do that, I need to make a toe jack and a couple of machine skates. So this Mazak weighs approximately, the nameplate says it weighs 15,800 pounds. So I have, gone to Harbor Freight and bought a couple of these eight ton heavy duty bottle jacks, Harbor Freight, thank you. And we're gonna see if we can make a tow jack that's capable of lifting our Mazak so we can get the machine skates under it and get it turned. A tow jack pretty much is a low profile jack that you can get under machinery with and lift it up six to eight inches. I have some thick still here that I acquired from a plow that we had on our property. I also have some thicker bar stock here. And I'm gonna weld this up. I'm gonna make a little cage for this bottle jack. So it's going to sit kind of in the cage like this. This will be the lever, the Z bar. It will move up and down. And hopefully that will be sufficient to be able to move our mill, to be able to lift it up and get the machine skates underneath it. So let's get started on this. Kind of taking shape here. You can see that I have, I'm getting a box here built and then we're gonna put the other piece a flat stock here on the side. That'll give us a nice, firm, secure place for the bottle jack to be concentrated. And then that Z-bar will come down here and hang over the toe. All right, we've kind of got the basic gist of what we're gonna do here mocked up. I just need to get the welder, get her welded together. We've got a few more steps here. So you can see this is gonna ride between our pieces of half inch bar stock here. Right, we've got a little pocket program modeled up here. Let's run it. We're just using this little quarter inch end mill, so pretty quick and easy job here. She's all set, I'm gonna drop it in 20 thou. Here we go. That's it. It's kinda cool with that old rusty metal and then the new metal here that just got machined. All right, we've got our hole up in here. And when we set it over our bottle jack here, you can see that it cannot, cannot come forward off the bottle jack. It's gonna pull it. So we've got that there. The Z-bar hooks up. And you can see the depth is such that it fits just about perfect. We're gonna be able to run a bead right here along the top. And then I may run another little thing right here just to hold this and make sure that it stays nice and strong. Here she is in her final glory. Definitely works. It's, uh, it's gonna be able to lift the Mazak. The only thing I kind of hate a little bit is it has bent this toe up just barely. So when it leans forward, it puts a ton of pressure on this front part, which makes sense because that would tip over were it not there. This could be maybe reinforced just a little bit, but other than that, she's pretty sturdy and it'll lift this Mazak. Now, our new challenge is to make these skates. So my original plan was to make these skates and put like four sets of these little bearing wheels, like one, two, three, four. I had to throw on my coveralls. It's freezing out here right now. The golf course is open. 
which is a good thing, but I think we'll get snow again this weekend and we'll probably be shut back down. It is now time to make our machine skates. I found this donor piece of metal down at one of the old barns. It's all rusty. Looks like it's been in a barn for a while. The thing that's perfect about this piece of metal is that these holes appear to be half an inch big, which is exactly the size of the axle I'm gonna be using for the bearings. Let's see if these holes fit really quick. Fingers crossed that this fits in here so I don't have to drill these holes out. Oh, dang it, they're so close. All right, so there's skate number one. The axle will go through these far outside holes and then the weight will sit down on top of it like that. So we have an issue. The issue is that our mounting holes that I thought were going to work for this are going to be way higher than where the bearing would be touching the ground. So in order for this to work as a will, it needs to be down like this low. So I'm gonna have to take this, I'm gonna put it in the mill. We're gonna cut one, two little holes here that this will fit through. And then those bolts should be able to hold onto this. And that'll solve our problem. We've got our last piece ready here. Pull it out of the machine. And we have our parts. Now I need to run to Lowe's and snag a couple more half inch bolts and some lock washers and some lock nuts to go on the end. So we're gonna run to Lowe's really quick, grab that, we'll come back, we'll weld these, assemble them, and we will see if we can move the Mazak just a little bit. Lowe's trip was successful. Let's test these bolts and see if they fit. And we will go over and then we will weld our angle iron together and see if they will hold the weight of the Mazak. So the reason I went a little bit longer is because I wanted the whole smooth flat part to almost span the width of the thing. So it looks like those are gonna work perfect. This will kind of hang out the side, not a huge deal and the bearings will go along this way. So my MIG welder's over in the other shop. We'll walk over there quick and weld these up. And then we're gonna try and move this beast. Fingers crossed. Uh, there's a very high likelihood this isn't going to work, but there's a chance it might. With or without the beanie? That is the question. You know, there was a point when I had all this crap moved out of the way so that I could put the mill here, but then I had orders and stuff come in, and now I have all this crap back in the way. So now I have to remove this crap. This is just a struggle. We're gonna lift this side up, set it down on the skate gently, slowly remove the 4x4 out of the way, and then see if the skate will hold the weight of the Mazak. Easy. This is the real moment of truth. Let's see if this thing will move.
<laughs> um, okay. Hmm. All right, well, it's like five hours after the fact and the machine has not moved an inch. I have, I've put it on the skates, I've turned them different ways. This machine is so heavy and this cement sucks so bad that I don't, I'm probably gonna have to go rent some skates. I don't think this is gonna work. <laughs> like it's, it's not even close to working. It's so pathetic. I feel like, I feel like a loser. <laughs> oh man, all that work to weld those and cut them and all that crap. Just have it not work. I guess the upside is the toe jack works. It's gotten it up in the air, let it down. That's worked fine. Uh, but the skates, I don't know if skates on bearings like this are a legitimate idea. I don't know. It's just not working. So I'm thinking tomorrow morning, I'm gonna go. Sorry, I got a runny nose. The new game plan is to go to the rental place rent some actual machine skates, and hopefully we can move it on those. If not, I really don't know what I'm gonna do. It might be where it's gonna be because I, I mean, I hooked it to a come along. I've tried it different directions. It's, it's things freaking heavy. It's just not moving. So we will revisit this situation tomorrow or later on this week. All right, it's the next morning and we are going to try our hand with the Hillman rollers. These are some machine skates. They're a little more conducive to the job. What they look like is, you've kind of got this chain here. The rollers are on the chain. All right, so I learned a couple things last night. There's this spot right here that once I got this off the four x four, I was able to just use the bottle jack to jack it up there. So. Here's the skate underneath. We are going to lower it down onto the Hillman roller and then we'll do the other side. Okay, so I have rollers in all three of the spots where the feet are and I am very encouraged. It seems like it's going to roll. I'm not strong enough by myself to do it so I'm either gonna use the come along or I'm gonna have Mr. Crowley come and help me. We'll see if we can rotate this. I'm gonna have the operator's pendant right here. I'm thinking and then just have the mill kind of sitting right here so I can still access my garage door. All right, well, I called Mr. Crowley over. No luck between the two of us pushing. I brought the range tractor over, not even close to enough weight. So we have the backhoe, we have the come along, and I'm hoping that this will do the trick for us. Oh, there we go. That's better. Okay, well, at least it's moving. That's encouraging. It's like sliding around on the jacks, but uh, we can reposition those. I think we're gonna get it. I think we're gonna be able to get it. So the come along is pulling the mill. However, it was rolling the whole thing. So I need to take two points, one stationary and one that will move. And I need to push this way and I need to pull this way. So I have the come along on a chain here. I have this four by four that hopefully won't snap. And uh, hopefully that will allow us to spin the mill and then we'll slide it back this way. All right, well, she's in her new home. It wasn't an easy move, but we got it done. It's on its leveling feet. 
still needs to be leveled, but this is where it's gonna be at. So when I'm, if I do a retrofit, I'll have access to the cabinet here, have uh, access to the pallet changer, and then I have this little walkway here, have my control. And then once I get it working, I'll rent these again, flip it around, and then we'll put the pendant on this side. But for now, I think this is gonna work for us just fine. And uh, hopefully it will be a good spot for it. It opens this area up right here for me to have my welding stuff over here and uh, just a table and stuff. I can still get in and out of my shop door if I need to, so. That was a big project. I'm sweating, I'm out of breath. Thank you for being here. It was a trial, definitely a trial to get this mill in place, but we got it. Hope you're having a great day. Get out and play some golf. I'm headed over to the golf course right now, and I will see you next time. Take care.